Hello and welcome to another video walk around by myself, Parker, and today we'll be looking at a 2015 Toyota Tundra Limited. This is a four door, five passenger, four wheel drive crew cab in Silver Sky Metallic. Under the hood, you'll find a 5.7 liter V8 engine, and you'll be riding on top of custom Mayhem wheels fitted with BF Goodrich mud tires. Your custom wheel wells and chrome plated accents are just a few of this truck's eye catching details. Now why don't we take a look at the inside. Helping us into the Tundra, we have our key fob right here. It's got automatic locks and we also have a command start here. So we can press the unlock button once. It'll unlock our driver's side door and twice we'll unlock all four. We'll just highlight the nice wheel wells here, some custom wheel wells. And we also have some BF Goodrich off-road tires and we also have custom beadlock style rims. We have a nice running board here. Quite nice for the height here, so we'll open it up. And take a look at our door panel. We have our window buttons and lock and unlock and window locks here. We have some nice leather along here, some stitching to give it a little bit of a detail. Lots of room here, a couple cup holders. And we'll take a look at the inside here. We have some nice wood grain finish here, looking at the inside, a very beautiful vehicle, nice leather here. We also have our sunroof, it's power adjustable, slides back. Looking at our driver's seat, we have our 10-way adjustable uh, seat, and then we also have our lumbar support. Why don't we hop in? Get it started on there. All right. So here we are. We have our Tundra. Take a look at our instrument cluster. Very nice looking here. Low lights, not gonna give us any issues when we're driving at night. We can cycle through our display. I'm just using the button on the right hand side here for display, giving us any amount of information we need. Customize a few things. Very nice. There's 124,872 kilometers on it. We'll look at the left instrument cluster right here. This will control our media hub here in the middle. We can do a few things, we can cycle through. Here I'm just pressing the center button to give us a different source. We can look through a bunch of uh, different options we have. Quite nice. We can press our mode and it'll go through Bluetooth and it'll go through AM and FM and XM radio, CD if you wanna spin that way. Very nice. So we'll look even further. We have our audio buttons and that just gives us any kind of any kind of capability we have here. We can start pairing our Bluetooth, but I'm not gonna put the phone on there. We can press home. It'll give us our phone that we have. Press some audio will bring us back. Let's see. No, there we go. Get back here. On the right hand side we have our applications. We can look through a bunch of stuff here, reordering them the way we want. We have messages. Anything that uh, you get from your phone can be read there. And then right here we have our dual zone climate control. Easily changed with knobs. If you and your passenger have different temperature likes, if somebody runs colder, somebody runs a little more hot, change our blower right in the middle. And then we have our heated seats to keep our butts warm in the winter time. We also have our uh, drivetrain changer. We can go from two wheel to four wheel high and four wheel low. Nice feature to have right there. I can do that real quick. And we have our auxiliary and USB cable right here. Oh, not giving you any light. There we go, auxiliary and USB. We also have a 12 volt DC plug-in. Open that up. There we go. Close that. You have a nice chrome finish along our cup holders. Another one right here. Then we have our gear shift, nice and easy to hold on to. See the distance between the gear shift and the console. That's a feature I like in a lot of vehicles where you can just kind of rest your arm here, keep your hand on the gear shift, make you feel like you got a little more control over your vehicle. We also have sport mode here as well if you need some more control in the mountains or anything along those lines. Scooting back to our center console, we have some space here. We also have our nice limited badging, lets us know what we're driving. We can open it up. 
And then this doubles as basically a file folder in here, anything that you might need to pop inside there. We have a 12 volt bat or 12 volt plug in right there, 12 volt DC outlet. And on the bottom of the uh, center console lid, we have a space for some files here, a couple business cards. We can pop a Kleenex box right here and we can also put some pens there. So really a mobile unit when you think about it. We'll close that up, go a little bit deeper. You can see the nice wood grain finish follows along to the right hand side. We have a locking bo uh, glove box here. Open that up and it'll give you any kind of literature you need. Underneath that, there's room for a little more and to the right of, of this uh, little literature pouch, we have another space. So lots of room inside the cabin for anything you might need. Now why don't we head back and take a look at cargo. So we'll look at the back of the Tundra here. We have a couple nice features I'd like to show you. First of all, we have our towing package and we have our receiving hitches right here, our receiving plugs. Right here we have our locking tailgate and we also have our backup camera, which is nice. We can open up the tailgate. We can just let it fall. It's an easy up and easy down tailgate so it's not gonna come crashing down on you. We also have a spray-in bed liner from Caput here in West Edmonton. A nice bed liner here, not gonna scratch up your truck to keep your value. We also have some adjustable uh, tie down spaces and you can adjust these and place them anywhere along the box of your truck here. Nice feature, nice to have. So we'll close up the back of our box. Gives us a nice view of our Tundra. Here we are taking a final look at the 2015 Toyota Tundra Limited. The custom features on this truck along with the luxurious interior really do make this a truck capable for work and play. But there's a ton of other features I didn't get a chance to show you, so come in and take it for a test drive and see how it fits in. We're here at Toyota Northwest Edmonton on the corner of 137th Avenue and St. Albert Trail. Thank you again for watching this walk around video. My name is Parker and until we see you, drive safe.